what is digital ministry? Setting up the cameras for the live stream, sharing the link for the Zoom call, sending a few social media posts throughout the week. Maybe you even edit a sermon clip down a little bit shorter so you can post it on TikTok or YouTube Shorts. Is this digital ministry? Yes, sort of, but it's missing something. The most essential part of digital ministry is not all the digital platforms and online content. The most important part is the ministry, the ways that we create spaces for community to grow and develop, connecting with God, with self, with others in real and meaningful and life-changing, world-changing and digital ways. The content is important, but only as it supports the community. Or to take a step back, sometimes it's helpful to know what digital ministry is not in order to know what it is. Digital ministry is not being the person who can answer every question everyone has about how to use Zoom. Digital ministry is being a pastor who uses Zoom to facilitate community and offer pastoral care. Digital ministry is not managing your church's social media accounts. Digital ministry is a pastoral approach to social media that builds relationships, cultivates community, and offers faith formation and pastoral care one post, tweet, or TikTok at a time. Digital ministry is not the responsibility of the person who just happens to know the most about technology, social media, or the internet. Digital ministry is the responsibility of a pastor who ensures that the church will always Always share the good news of love and justice by any media necessary. I look at digital ministry like a campfire, something that people can gather around, reflect on, and ultimately connect with one another as a result. The campfire is important, but it's not the point. The point is the experience we share, the ways that it forms and reforms us, allowing us to be made whole so that we can join God and one another in healing this world. In short, digital ministry is ministry. <laughs> but enough from me about this what is digital ministry question. Let's hear from 11 other incredible digital ministry leaders as they answer this question from their point of view. Hi, I'm Pastor Sarah, aka Disorganized.Religion on TikTok. And I'm Karen. Digital ministry connects people to one another and to God using digital tools, which makes it uniquely accessible to like people who don't go outside or who can't. It's public square ministry you can join from anywhere you have Wi-Fi or a cell signal. You can build a community that people can engage with 24 seven across time zones and cultures. And people who are up to something in the world can connect, combine their gifts and do more together. So what I'm hearing is that it breaks down barriers that prop up stuff like racism and ableism and then it gives everyday people a voice in the broader conversation about faith and then gives them the practical tools to organize for action. Yeah, sounds like a big F you to the patriarchy. Amen. Hey, my name is Ryan Dunn. I'm a minister of online engagement for United Methodist Communications. I believe that digital ministry is really just like a point of relationship. And sometimes those relationships exist solely in digital space. Uh, more often, these relationships are augmented by digital space as we uh, relate with one another through Facebook and all the other social media sites and, well, web means that we can. Okay, so what is digital ministry? Um, digital ministry is online ministry that happens in digital spaces um, where we're able to build a community of people who um, are connected around a specific thing in this in this space it's the divine um and we use the zeros and ones to build the space hi my name is nathan webb i'm the nerd pastor at checkpoint church an online church for nerds geeks and gamers and i think that digital ministry is fundamentally no different than any other form of ministry it's just ministry utilizing a different tool set than we're typically used to. So we're still building churches, we're still building community, we're still building spaces for worship to happen. We're just using the tool set of digital tools rather than the ones that we're typically used to. Sometimes this can be reaching uh, a different demographic, a different people group uh, and letting them meet Jesus. Sometimes it can be the group we've always reached just with, like I said, different tools. So digital ministry is less about what we're doing and more about how we're doing it. Digital ministry is 
ministry. And what is ministry but relationships? Learning and growing with one another, sharing pains and victories and everything in between, asking tough questions, sitting in silence. Ministry is connection. Connecting over the wonderings of the universe. Connecting with a divine spirit. Ministry is partnership over humanity's innate desire for more and belonging to that more. Digital ministry is exploring how all of this is experienced digitally, how this must be experienced digitally. To reach a people more comfortable in DMs than in the pews. To offer life in the darkest of doom scrolls. And to spread love the way ministers have always sought to, but this time online. What is digital ministry? It's no different than what Jesus did during his years of ministry. He was walking from town to town, teaching and preaching and healing, using his voice and the modeling of his life as tools to share the good news, meeting people where they are. Today, in a world still navigating life with COVID as a companion, we are to do the same. We are to use whatever we have available, adapting and innovating, using technology and social media as tools for ministry, meeting people where they are. And digital ministry today provides for us a much further reach than we've ever had before, a reach that doesn't require we soak our feet at the end of the day. Hey dear friends, this is Reverend Jerry, the People's Priest, aka Father Jerry, and I'm answering this question of what is digital ministry? First and foremost, digital ministry is not about being a celebrity pastor but rather it's about accepting that we as the beloved children of God made in the image and likeness of God have the right to experience and to express God on our own terms. And through digital ministry, we are, are able to ultimately democratize a sense of the sacred through the use of digital platforms. Digital ministry is the continuation of Jesus's command to go. Whether we are learning how to use a printing press to spread the gospel or an oculus, our command is to go and tell people the good news so that they know of God's incredibly inclusive love. See you in the metaverse. Hey everybody, this is Dan Wunderlich. I'm a United Methodist pastor and I host the church marketing podcast for the United Methodist Church. And because I spend so much of my time thinking about church marketing, I wanna start by saying digital ministry and church marketing overlap, but they aren't the same thing. Too many churches think they're doing digital ministry when they're really just telling people when and where to show up. Digital ministry is anytime you use things like social media, video, email, texting to accomplish the mission of the church, which at my church, is helping one another take our next faithful step in coming to know, love, and trust Jesus more. So anytime we do that through digital means, that's digital ministry. Hi, it's Kirk Moore here. And you know what digital ministry is? It's ministry, only it's online. It's using the resources and the technology that exist. It's real community. It's real ministry. It's real interaction. It's just done online. It's real. Did I say it's real? Yeah, digital ministry, totally real. Totally uses technology, totally awesome. Hi, my name is David Hansen. I am a congregational pastor uh, serving in suburban Houston. Um, I've been working in the field of digital ministry off and on in a variety of ways, both as a local pastor, but also as a consultant uh, and as a speaker and as a teacher and as a writer. Um, for well over a decade. Jim asked me to reflect on what digital ministry is and what it means to me. And for me, at the heart of digital ministry is not the tools that we use, but rather the community that we create. Digital ministry is a way to extend the community that gathers in person, to provide new ways for people to connect to one another, to their faith, and to the community around them. It also provides opportunities for communities that might never have existed before. So as I use digital ministry, for me, it looks like providing opportunities for my congregation members to grow closer in relationship with one another. It looks like providing them opportunities to learn and grow in faith in new ways. Um, and it looks like connecting people to the faith who live 
well beyond our physical boundaries and who otherwise might not have the opportunity to plug into our local community. I think sometimes we get caught up in what the tools are that we're using and, and using them to convey information, using them as a form of just announcement and broadcast to wider audiences. And I think that's a mistake for us in the church uh, because it misses the opportunity to remember that the core of everything we do as people of faith is about relationship. Uh, and, and so for me, I come back to the relationships that I've formed through digital community and digital ministry um, and how I can use these tools, which are ever-changing, to attain that same goal in a variety of new ways. How can I, as a curator of community, help the people I encounter and the people I might never meet to build deep, meaningful relationships with one another, with their faith, and with their God? Oh, so good. So good. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I think this might be the best video I've ever made about digital ministry. So why don't you do two things? First, leave a comment with your response to that question. What is digital ministry? Leave a comment. Let us know how you would answer that question. Type it, type it, type Post it on, you know, all the social medias, wherever you're spending time these days. Is that still Twitter or are we all on Mastodon? I don't know. That's another video for another day. And then number two, share this. Share this video with someone that you know who needs to see this, to experience this, to learn from all of this kind of shift in perspective towards this thing that is so essential, not just for the future of the church, but for the present church. Share it with at least two people. That's my challenge. Click the little share button and do it. Now, okay, I won't peer pressure you, but I will say thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.